I have a Father, Almighty Father. He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I have a Father. I have a Father. I have a Father. Almighty Father, He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I have a Father. Father, we rejoice today for we have you as our Father. Thank you for being the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Wiser than the wisest, richer than the richest wealthier than the wealthiest thank you for this brand new day we bow before you we say you're a good father you're a good god be exalted in the name of jesus lord today we pray the prayer of the psalmist in psalm 119 and verse 18 open my eyes that i may see wondrous things from your law father open our eyes our spiritual eyes our physical eyes, our mental eyes, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, we say we want to see. We want to see spiritually. We want to see mentally. We want to see physically. Grant us sight in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you this morning. You will see opportunities around you opportunities for breakthrough in career, opportunity for breakthrough in your profession, opportunities for breakthrough in your business, opportunities for breakthrough in your marriage, opportunities for breakthrough in your ministry. You will not become naked. You will not become miserable. You will not become wretched. You will not become poor. In the name of the Lord Jesus, today we receive uncommon vision. Uncommon vision like Hagar when she was at crossroads with her child. God opened her eyes and she saw. So we receive uncommon vision in that order. We receive uncommon vision like Elisha. We receive uncommon vision like Zechariah. We receive uncommon vision like Peter. We receive uncommon vision like Paul. As from today, we will not only look, we will also see in the name of Jesus. We will not only see, we will see clearly in the name of Jesus. Mark chapter 8 verse 24 and 25 after the first encounter that the man that the Bible talk about here had with Jesus, the Bible says he looked up and said, I see men like trees walking. He could see, but he was not seeing clearly. He was not seeing clearly. And Jesus touched him the second time, according to verse 25. Then he put his hands on his eyes again and made him look up. And he was restored and saw everyone clearly. As from today, we will not only see, we shall see clearly. We will not only see problems, we shall see solution. We will not only see sickness, we shall see healing. We will not only see poverty, we shall see riches. And none of us shall be stranded in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And as we know, the Holy Ghost is the agent of revelation and vision. The Bible says in John chapter 16, verse 13, However, when He, the Spirit of truth, has come, He will guide you into all truth. For He will not speak of His own authority, but whatever He hears, He will speak, and He will tell you things to come. And so today I decree that the Holy Ghost will guide us into all truths. Yes, what he hears from the Father, he will speak to us. He will tell us things of the present 
and he will tell us things to come. And as we receive clear sight from him, the Lord will frustrate the designs of our enemies. He will prevent us from falling. We will not walk into the dish. We will not walk into the pit dug by our enemies. Like a moving stream of water, our blessings will locate us in the name of Jesus. And the blessings shall be irreversible. God will shift and move things around in our favor. What we have gathered will not be scattered. That which we desire shall be given to us. None of us will lose our trophy. The Lord will place our feet on the ladder that goes to the top. And on a continual basis, we shall move to the top. Our sources will be unstoppable. God will visit us today and put a stop to the work of the devil in our lives. The Bible says that is the reason why the Son of Man came to destroy the works of the devil. So today the works of the devil is destroyed in our lives. So shall it be in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen and Amen.